Hi, welcome to this video. We're going to develop exercises 1 to 5 of chapter 31, Open Economy Microeconomics, Basic Concepts. This is a book of Gregory Monkey, Principles of Economics. So the first question says, how would the following transactions affect U.S. exports, imports, and net exports? A. An American art professor spends the summer touring museums in Europe. Basically, this person, this uh, American art professor, he or she is consuming goods and services abroad. So then, we can consider that as an import from the U.S. side. So this is an increase in imports, assuming the, the exports exactly the same and the other imports exactly the same, we have a net exports lower uh, than zero, or a decrease at least, thinking on the change. Second, students in Paris flock to see the latest movie from Hollywood. So then, they consume services produced uh, in US, or actually you can think a, a good as well, it's a, a good one. Maybe you could say this more like this good, the film, so uh, produced in US. So we have here export from the US side increase, and then we are going to have a net export positive, at least this change. C, your uncle buys a new Volvo. So he consumes a good produced abroad. This is, this is, a, um, this is from, from Sweden. So definitely this should be an import increased, so as a consequence, if all the things remain the same, we have the net export change uh, negative. D. Student bookstore, the student bookstores at Oxford University in England sells a copy of this textbook. Well, he is consuming, he or she is uh, consuming serve, um, uh, a good, actually this is not a service, this should be a good produced in the US, so we have an export increased as a consequence an ex export uh, positive, at least this change. So E, a Canadian citizen shops at a store in northern Vermont to avoid Canadian sales tax. Taxes, even, even the taxes he or she is avoiding he is consuming a good produced in the US. As a consequence, we assume an export of higher um, than, than zero, an increase, so a net export higher than zero, or at least this change. So, second, would each of the following transactions be included in net exports or net capital outflow? Be sure to say whether it would represent an increase or a decrease in that variable. A. An American buys a Sony TV. So let's differentiate between net exports and net capital outflow and which should be affected. So here definitely should be a net exports because this Sony TV is a good that American buys uh, from Japan, so it should be an import increase. So then this should be compensated, but uh, a net or this should be exactly a net exports lower than zero. So this should be the change. What about the, the capital outflow? So you provide US dollars to these to Sony. So the foreign people, they have domestic assets. What are the domestic assets? The US dollars. So the net capital outflow, remember, should be exactly the same as the net exports. So this uh, deficit trade, this is a finance with this net capital outflow which is the foreign people that they have domestic assets. B. An American buys a share of Sony stock. So here in net store export no changes because there are no changes in, um, I mean, in import nor export. But what about the net capital outflow? So first you need to change US dollars for yen is what we said uh, foreign, uh, foreign people have uh, domestic assets because they have US dollars and then you use this yen to buy stocks so then you domestic people so you you have foreign assets so these two effects they they are cancelled out so as a consequence we have a net exports equal to zero which should be exactly equal to a net capital outflow equal to zero C 
the Sony pension fund buys a bond from a, the US Treasury. So here we have no changes in exports because we are not affecting the, the, the trade balance. But what about the net capital outflow? So Sony, uh, the, the fund from Japan, they buy US bond. So it means foreign people, they have domestic assets. Which foreign people? Japan people, Japanese people, and they have domestic assets, which is the bond from the US Treasury. But now US, uh, we have now yen, so then domestic people, we have foreign assets. So then um, this should be a net capital outflow equal to zero, a net export equal to zero. D, a worker at a Sony plant in Japan buys some Georgia peaches from an American farmer. So net exports, there is an in, there is an increase of exports because of the good of the fruits that they are going out. And then from the net capital outflow point view, from Georgia they receive yen uh, for that payment. So domestic people they have foreign assets. So we have here uh, net export higher than zero and the net capital outflow higher than zero. 3. Describe the difference between foreign direct investment and foreign portfolio investment. Who is more likely to engage in foreign direct investment? A corporation or an individual investor? Who is more likely to engage in foreign portfolio investment? So it's important to clarify here that some examples. So for example, McDonald's, when McDonald's opened a fast food fast food in Russia, this is foreign direct investment. But when we talk about an American individual that he or she buys a stock in a Russian corporation, we talk about foreign portfolio investment. What are the differences? Well, in the first situation, naturally the, the owner manages the investment. In the second situation, like kind of more passive, and actually you can infer that could be like actually in a short term like frame because you can you can just sell these stocks and you're out but when you have like foreign direct investment as more work associated because you have all the infrastructure all the all the inputs as 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 labor as capital invested there so definitely should be like more time and the decision should be definitely more difficult so both cases are situation of net capital alpha from the u.s stands uh a point of view um, and definitely we have here like the net foreign investment could be positive or negative so here so the question is uh, what should be more engaged with the with the corporation individual corporation should be more about um, direct investment individual more about portfolio and who is more likely to engage foreign portfolio investment well as I said individual so for how would the following transaction affect US net capital outflow? Also, state whether each involves direct investment or portfolio investment. A. An American cellular phone company establishes an office in such republic. So here, the US, the United States is changing US for such corona, which should be the, the currency from that country. So we know that we have a net capital outflow higher than zero because we have like the domestic people that they are they are um, they have like they have foreign assets so this is more about direct direct investment b harrods of london sells stock to the general electric pension fund so here we have the the us changing us dollar for british pound so here we have the net uh, capital capital outflow higher than zero because we we have like the the pension for general electric which is starts to buy uh, London from London so then you need now British pound so this is like net capital outflow higher than zero and this is more about portfolio investment because it's more associated with with like finance assets. C Honda expands its factory in Mar Marysville, Ohio. So here we have Honda change yen for USD. So it's like net capital outflow um, lower than zero because we have now 
foreign people that they have domestic assets and this is more about direct investment because whole uh, country I mean all company is making like more uh, more investment to to this factory B a fidelity mutual fund sells its Volkswagen stock to a French investor so here we we assume that fidelity mutual fund is from the US uh, first um, they had portfolio investment of of Germany and they were like Germany stocks and then they move to now to the French investor so they exactly they are moving from one side to another one so the next capital outflow um, we have reduction here um, in this in this part so basically what I'm assuming here is that we have first we had Volkswagen stock which was definitely a net capital alpha higher than zero and then we sell that to a French investor so we don't we close that position so now we receive that back so at the end of the day we have net capital outflow equal to zero for this transaction first we had and then we pass that that stocks to a French investor five would each of the following groups be happy or unhappy if the US dollar appreciated explain what is a US dollar appreciated that imagine that you have one one you receive one euro for one dollar if it gets appreciated for one dollar you receive now two euros so it means that the US is stronger so a Dutch pension funds holding US government bonds so Dutch people will receive now more euros for the same USD so definitely they will be happier US manufacturing industry industries assuming that they export because of the dollar is stronger now you receive less because you still sell in euros for example but you receive uh, you now give, need to give I mean you need to give like two euros for for one dollar so definitely you will receive less as exporter so you will be unhappy Australian tourists plan a trip to United States well they need to more they need more Australian dollars for USD so everything should be more expensive so they will be unhappy an American firm trying to purchase property overseas well they use these stronger so they can buy things cheaper so it's better okay so I hope it has worth you you can understood uh, you, you can now understand better these exercises please let me know if something maybe you disagree and that's it thank you for watching this video and hopefully we will see soon each other bye bye